Okay, uh, we're gonna go and work on a new skill today. You know, so I always start my camera up like this. That's so it uh, goes goes ahead and records the landscape like that. It makes it sort of where you can see it a little bit better. But uh, we're gonna work on a new skill, and so that means we're gonna go to our composition book. And uh, let me double check. I assume that's gonna be on page 15. We're working. Let's check. Okay, so we're gonna work on page 15. And uh, we're going to write that page 15. And we're going to work with expanded notation. Expanded notation. So let's go ahead and we're going to flip to our uh, vocabulary. I'm going to take a look and see what it says about expanded notation. So expanded notation, uh, it's a representation of a number as a sum of its place value where each term is shown as a, dig uh, as a digit times its place value. So you're going to see what that's like. And it looks very similar to um, expanded form. It's going to look very similar. Uh, the only difference is it's going to, we're just going to have the digit, so the 2, and we're going to multiply it by its place value. And you'll see uh, see what that looks like. So I'm going to turn to page 15, and that means this is page 16. And we're going to do expanded notation. So go ahead and write the ex title "Expanded Notation" on the top. Okay, so expanded notation. Typically what you'll see is uh, you'll be given a number in um, expanded notation form. So we're going to compose, uh, compose a number from, um, from no, I mean we're going to decompose a number. So we're going to be given a number in standard form and we're going to go ahead and uh, break it down, decompose it into expanded notation. It's just a little bit more, a few more steps uh, to our expanded form, really. So we'll uh, we'll start with um, so 100. No, miss it. Find that up. So we start with 123,456. It just uh, all my numbers ascending from one to six. So um, the first thing what I said uh, is we're taking the digit. So I'm going to go ahead and draw some parentheses right here. So in the digit is the one, and we're going to multiply it by its place value, which is a hundred thousandths place. So it's one times one hundred thousand, and then I'm going to close the parentheses up right there. So. 1 times 100,000 is 100,000. Okay, and then we're going to add it to the next digit. Okay, my deck next digit is a 2. And I'm going to multiply that digit by its place value, which is a 10,000th place. So times 10,000. And I'm going to close the parentheses off there. And then I'm going to add it to the three, so I'm make parentheses right there. Okay, the next digit is a three, and it's in the thousands place. I'm gonna close parentheses off. Got me a little addition sign right there. Then I'm gonna do the four, and the four is in the hundreds place, so I'm gonna multiply it times a hundred, and in parentheses. Then I'm going to represent the 5. The 5 is in the tens place, in parentheses. And then the last digit, the 6, is in the ones place, so 6 times 1. And so expanded form or expanded notation for 123,456 is 1 times 100,000 plus 2 times 10,000 plus three times 1,000 plus four times 100 
plus 5 times 10 plus 6 times 1. And that seems a little bit confusing right now, but uh, it's surely just that we're just kind of adding a step in there. And normally for expanded form, it would be 100,000 plus 20,000 plus 3,000 plus 400 plus 50 plus 6. So it just gives a little bit more detail to, um, to um, the, uh, the process of decomposing numbers. Okay, now we'll, uh, we'll work with another, no, no, another number. And this time, we'll leave a place value out and uh, just show how to represent that. Um, so we'll do um, 650,402. So you see I have uh, two zeros right there. So basically, when we do our expanded notation, uh, we don't have to represent the zero, so they don't have any values. I mean, if I was to do it, that would be uh, zero times a thousand, which is a zero, and zero times ten, which is still zero. That's a zero property of multiplication. Uh, anything multiplied by zero is zero. So we'll go ahead and start. It's always easier if you start with the largest place value. A lot of times when we're composing numbers, they they may tend to give them out of order for you, but um, uh, we're going to uh, do just right now, since we're just learning, we're going to do it in order. So that's parentheses, six, and it's in the hundred thousands place, so it's going to be times one hundred thousand plus the five, which is in the ten thousands place. Okay, plus, okay, I don't have to do the zero because it ha doesn't have any value. Okay, but I am going to do the four, which is in the hundreds place. And then the last one is, don't have to do the tens because there's no value. Plus the two is in the ones place. So, 650,402 is... 6 times 100,000 plus 5 times 10,000 plus 4 times 100 plus 2 times 1 is 650,402. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead, not too difficult a concept, I'm going to go ahead and give you a number in standard form. And I want you to go ahead and try to write it in expanded notation. So the number I'm going to give you is... 327,454. Okay, um, 327, 327,454. And go ahead and pause the video. I want you to go ahead and use the strategies that we have right here. Uh, just kind of look how we did it and go ahead and see if you can come up with the correct answer. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and go over this. So, I'm going to put this in expanded notation, 327,454. Uh, it's funny, I, I come up with numbers sometimes. Uh, I like working on cars, so uh, 327 is an old Chevy small block, and uh, 454 is a, uh, a Chevy big block engine, so I just I, I use those numbers pretty regular. But, um, First, I'll talk about the uh, the three in the hundred thousandths place. So that's going to be times one hundred thousand plus the two is in the ten thousandths place. So that's two times ten thousand plus the seven is in the thousands place in parentheses plus the four we have two fours the four it's in the hundreds place plus the five 
that's in the tens place plus my last four 